All right, the time has come. Let's find out how the hell this works. And what this is gonna be. This may count as our encounter for this route, which is why I did this route and not the one with the other Snorlax. Because we already had a capture on that other route. Okay, <laughs> that was a, I was dreading this. That's a lot of build up for a lot of nothing. That's hilarious. Okay, this will be our, this will be our encounter on this route. Clearly Snorlax is not considered a legendary by the randomizer. So we'll follow the randomizer rules, which means we can encounter wild Snorlax at some point. Uh, Dragon Rage won't kill. Not a 30, not even a spin done. Shit, it's more than half though. We're not to guess that. Psybeam, eh? Um. I'm going to Ghost and Nightshade. Get it in the red. Portal hypnosis us. I'm just gonna great ball it. Is Spinda even remotely useful? Okay, we got it at least. I'm pretty sure it doesn't evolve. I'm pretty sure it's a gimmick Pokemon. Uh, let's take a look at its stats. 60 across the board base stats. Rubbish. Uh, and it is just a flat and normal type? Oh, it's not even psychic. Okay, uh, so it is strictly a gimmick Pokemon? Is that true? Ohm Temple or Tangle Feet? Seems to be strictly a gimmick Pokemon at a glance. Uh, we'll still take a look at it, check its moveset and stuff. idea for a name, but I have to Google what it is. Hmm, that doesn't work. Never mind. Bed don't have a name. Um, this will work. We got enough Pokemon with really shitty. This Pokemon is shit names. Here's a similar. We'll call him Pandorum. Similar sounding, but it's not actually as um, insulting. Don't think there's anything over here. No, I don't like Twelve. Uh, who's in front right now? Dragonair. Yeah. Oh, and everything's. Sleepy and shit. That's fine. And this gives us the super rod. It always felt to me like the super rod should have been somewhere further out of the way than this. Because the good rod, if I remember correctly, is that just like in fuchsia? I guess the idea is you don't go this way, you go down cycle road. Uh, that guy's probably a rocker, probably has electric types. Just do memes. Yeah, so I guess we'll make our way down these routes. We can get probably some other encounters. I might, I think I'm gonna skip, start skipping trainers. 29, eh? Damn. Probably want to pull memes back out here after it takes a hit or so. Um, I guess the electric types we aren't really worried about physical moves from so much, so we don't really need to leave yet. 
We can definitely take a hit first. I'm gonna stop. Save some PP, I guess. <gasps> Well, that was close. Mental note, Screech self-destruct is a thing. Uh, I'm swapping straight into my ghost type. I am, nope. Ah, uh, ghost is sleeping. Uh, I don't care. Shit. This suddenly got really scary. Oh dear. I need you to fucking wake up, Skost. No, I'm sure none of his physical moves can hurt us. It's only Spark. Fuck, come on, dude. Like a crit kills us. Like, fuck, what do we... I'm sure it's got self-destruct too. If I heal, he's not gonna wake up. What can I do? I mean, if I super potion, I'm just in a loop because he's sleeping. If I pull out to somebody else, he might self-destruct. No, I can't go into Sky Puppy because the electric attack is too damaging. I don't have any other good options for this. I am really worried about a self-destruct. I need Skost to wake up. If he wakes up, we're good. I should have went back to the fucking Pokemon Center. Oh my god, dude. It's gonna be like max length sleep. We have to burn a fucking super potion here. Because suddenly these electrodes are scary as fuck. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking for real? Can you take a hit? Nobody has, like, damp or anything to stop the self-destruct. <sighs> Fuck. I don't like rolling all these fucking dice. This sucks. Like, if I go into Dragonair, we don't even have a good kill option. Okay, I got a plan. It's a shit plan. I'm gonna super potion a fucking again. And then we're gonna swap out. Actually, he went for the screech. So I'm staying in and going for the wake up. Right? There's nothing this screech does to us. Fucking finally, Skost, you're killing me, dude. Kill him, kill him, kill him dead. Kill him dead. Oh no, 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 yes, yes, yes. Kill him, oh my God. Glad that battle was on the goddamn recording because that was a tense one. Oh my God. Let's get back to the fucking lavender and heal up. That was scary. That was real scary. All right, I'm gonna pause and I'll unpause when I'm back to where we left off when we flew.
All right, here we are where we look where we returned for the heal. Um, who's in the? Oops, I did the turbo thing again. My raid. Yeah, let's get like a tongue at level here. Uh, I'm assuming this guy is a trainer. Well, we're fighting trainers that are equal level. I'm not gonna do any off off screen because uh, they can be pretty tense battles. I only really want the safe battles to happen off screen. Because I, I, nothing would disappoint me more than losing a Pokemon off screen. Like, that would be just shit. Because not only do you lose a Pokemon, you don't get any content out of it. <laughs> the Bloodlust is not sated for anybody. We're running the risk of Poison Pin, but we can always just fly back to the Pokemon Center if we get Poison now. I'll go for the stomp to save us the agony of watching the entire return animation again. Nidorino, a little scary, can have double kick. It's not stab though. I'm pretty sure we could take it. There it is. Yeah, okay. We definitely don't want to stay in though, because we're running the risk of poison plus a crit maybe killing us. Um, yeah, let's go into Skost, because the double kick will be missed. It won't affect Skost at all. And I do want to get Skost leveled up. Like, that last battle, Skos could easily have died to a crit. Um, we need to get Skos leveled up. Actually, I'm going to lead Skos in all these battles now. Until he's 33 and evolves. Because the last thing I want to do is have him get killed right now. He's so close. Memes can get leveled up later. An iron. Um. Yeah, we'll just loot, we'll just fight the water types with Skos. That's fine. I was thinking about switching the Elekid for the easy kills, but they're probably non-threatening water types anyway. Gold beans and shit. Yeah, a magic card. Case in point. Oh, I should look at any hidden items on this route. Originally when I started this, I wasn't going to do that for all the hidden items, but things have been... The balance feels about right with getting the hidden items. And fishing Guru's younger brother was showing record bigger magic. Interesting! I didn't know that was a thing. You can get netballs from magic card. This guy sucks. Iron, got that. Rare candy, grass patch. I assume that's coming up. Oh yeah, so I ran uh, back into Lavender, uh, into the Pokemon Tower between episodes to pick up that Soothe Bell, but you can't get it until you have Item Finder. Which I only found it afterwards. The Haunter encounter in there is Lunatone. So that was interesting. I think I actually ran into two Lunatones on my second trip in there. I brought Seal along and got him two or three levels. Uh, where's this rare candy? One east, two north. From the southwestern corner. So right here? Underneath me? Underneath me. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see what the encounter is here. Ooh, an Atkins. Interesting. We can't catch it because Snorlax was our encounter. The Spinda. 
It's uh, something we can encounter on the next route, though. I don't think we'll use it at this point. I'll certainly level up into Arbok off-screen off for the item finder. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to an Intimidate Arbok on the squad, but... I don't think it replaces anything we currently have. Unless it's maybe really good, like an adamant Intimidate Arbok or something. No, I, I don't think it replaces anything on this squad no matter what it is. Because memes is the meme. Sko, Sky Puppy, and, and Mira stay. I like the Elekid, and then we just have a flex slot which is our water type right now. He could be an alternate. Like, there's nothing wrong with having more than six Pokemon. I'm gonna skip. Well, maybe I won't skip you if I can't do it. Uh, also, I believe we just got to a new route. I think I saw that pop there in the corner. Route 13. Yes, Route 13. Uh, we actually can't kill Pidgey. So I guess we'll just swap into Elegant. Pidgey almost got us to half. That's awful. We should be able to smoke whatever his next Pokemon is, though. I mean, that was a crit wing attack. So, even with like a Pidgeotto's wing attack, we should be, we should be fine. Also, we're faster. Oh, I guess the Pidgey quick attack. So we probably were faster than the Pidgey too. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. I don't think you're a trainer if you walk back and forth, are you? Nope, you are a trainer. That that was on me. I guess they do move. I didn't think trainers moved. I didn't think they actually walked back and forth. They just rotated in place, I thought. Oh, well. Well, it means I think we've done every trainer on this route. Which, you know what, is fine. We do need levels. This Coldine's faster. That sucks. Supersonic. No. 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 Well, Sko's got the kill. I'm gonna swap them out in the next battle. I'm not gonna take those confusion die rolls. I'm just gonna go into. Mm, he's. Uh, does, does. I don't think he has confusion. I think Poliwag just gets hypnosis. So I'm gonna go into Dragonair. Because we can shed the sleep. Nice, good call. I guess we just do twisters. Um so Route 13, few items, the encounters. In base game, our Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Oddish, Gloom, Venonat, Ditto. Ooh, Ditto will be something entirely new we haven't seen yet. Whatever replaces that. Remember when we killed a Ditto? That was funny. Nice shed skin. Yeah, Poliwag is not a threat. Wow, really? I guess we'll have to go for a Dragon Rage. I figured Twister would do more damage against the Poliwag, but I guess it is close to our level. Nah, bro. Do you think his next Pokemon is gonna be something we can use 
this rain dance against. Because we do have Water Pulse, which is powered up right now. Nope. This Picnicker, for some reason, has all water types. Interesting. Well, given that Twister wasn't terribly effective, I'm gonna go into the Dragon Rage straight. Smoke Terrain sucks. Could swap out. Um, I'm gonna stay in for now. Bubble? That's the best you can do, Horsey? That's, that's pretty sad, not gonna lie. Go for the twister. Oh, the rain ends. Yeah, okay. Because I know some sometimes the move the, maybe it's maybe it's only the abilities that last forever. Maybe the moves always are five turns or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember. I have, I used a sandstorm team at one point in a emerald run, I think. But usually I don't use those environmental moves. All right, uh, we'll pass. I guess we might as well do every trainer. We need to get to that grass though. Might want to go back to the Pokemon Center. Let's just take this slow and try to get to that grass first. And by slow, I mean not slow. All right, what are the hidden items on this route? Uh, we have a hidden near the trainer tips. I know where that one is. I remember that one. Oh, is that the only one on this route? There's one item, wow. Okay. I guess we're way out in the boonies, even though there's people everywhere. Oh, uh, Dragonair, Dragonair in front. Nope. Um, just switch to memes so we don't get super sonic. I think that's fine here. It's just a baby. Memes is close to leveling too. I like to imagine those are tongue punches. <laughs> New encounter, something cool. Okay, it's the Ekans. It's an intimidate Ekans. Could be useful against like Koga maybe. Not that Koga strikes me as being particularly difficult. Um, should be able to Dragon Rage it. Should have easily like 60 HP or so. Yeah, just about actually. Don't poison me. It doesn't matter. We're going to the Pokemon Center. Uh, let's just throw a great ball. A snake. A lady snake with intimidate. I like Arbok. Just as a design. Um, not my favorite, but it's probably, it's easily probably upper half, probably upper, upper quarter. All right, um, let's go back to the Pokemon Center, take a look at it and heal up.
Uh, what level? Also, what levels are Arbok? Out of curiosity. Twenty-two. Well, that's an easy uh, level up for another Pokemon for Item Finder. So that should give us 16 was Polyrath. Which I don't remember if I mentioned I got Polyrath. Uh, yeah, 16, so 17 to 18. Quirky nature. I mean, Glare's a little redundant because we got Thunder Wave. Um, nature, nature, nature. Where's my Nature's tab? Quirky is Neutral Natures. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd consider throwing it in if it had something that reduced special attack. Because it's pretty worthless stat for it, but... Yeah, it'll just be... It'll just sit in the box. Uh... If we use it at all, Koga's maybe the place to consider it. I'm going to pause until we're back where we left off. Okay, uh, what I think I'm going to do is skip this double battle. Fuck that shit, we ain't doing a double battle. <laughs> double battles are death. I think the, there's an item here, pee, pee up. I had turbo buttoned, my bad. If that offends you. If that offends your ears. We're going to a few more battles in here. I believe we have one more route before Fuchsia. Route 14, or is there 14 and 15? There's 14 and 15. So that's two more encounters before Fuchsia. And then there's two encounters for the bike road routes, I believe, as well. Oh, wait, why is this guy in? I must have swapped the wrong one into front lead. Oops. I'm not going to bother swapping mid-battle, we'll just sweep Polylegs with Crobat, that's fine. Or not. Ouch. Ow, my pride. Stop hurting my pride. Ooh, the legendary 5 double slap. For all it's worth. You know, Sky Puppy's probably pretty decent against uh, Gengars with Bite, right? Is that true? 101 speed. Look at that. You fast. You fast, girl. Girl, you fast. Okay, let's get uh, the Ghost into the lead here. Where they're supposed to be. Um... I do have black glasses in my inventory as well, which I give to Crobat to boost Bite's damage. I probably just should have it on there. But really, we're almost never gonna bite, so. Ah, fucking birds. Fucking birds, they don't exist. They're not real. Not like Elekid. Come on, dude. Why you gotta be like that? Just die. All right, this episode is about done. Um, we might just finish this battle and call it. Yeah, probably with your Pokemon left. We'll call it after this battle. Uh, then we'll do the rest of this route next time. I'm not gonna skip any of it. Uh, I may do, I'll probably go level up Arbok off stream real quick or something, but. Actually, I might not even do that, because I don't feel like walking all the way back here to pick up, uh, pick up for picking up where we left off for the next episode. So I'll probably just save game and leave it here until next time, actually. I don't think I've done that yet. I think almost every episode I've done something afterwards. Just kill it. I'm not even going to swap for XP. I just don't want to swap anybody into an attack. You troll. You fucking troll. Just whirlwinding. Memes has this. That's also going to get memes to 30, I'm sure. Half XP from a Pidgeotto should be plenty. I'm 
We might do the Safari Zone before we do the Fighting Dojo. I think that's a good idea. Should decide on the Safari Zone rule set I'm gonna use. Because some people kind of do a a la carte Safari Zone situation. Or like one per area or something. I think we'll just do the first encounter. Especially given that it's randomized. I think we'll just do the first encounter. All right, we'll leave this one here. Uh, until next time.